Hey guys, uh, today is February 28th. Um, that has a special significance for me. That's the day I was born. Uh, I was born in 1954. <clears throat> this is 2019 and I'm celebrating my 35th birthday today. Um, it sort of dovetails in really nicely with the Apex philosophy that um, we can really kind of go back in time and claim an age and then leverage the technologies available to us today to actually maintain that age going forward. So when we think about longevity or we think about the aging process, we think it's really difficult to actually imagine what it would be like to be 100 or to be 120 or 80 and say, well, I'm gonna be really good for what it is to be 80 or 100. That's really hard to imagine, but we can all remember what it felt like to be 35 or 30 or when we were sort of at the peak of our athletic abilities, mental capabilities, etc. And so the concept here is that with this birthday, it's 15 years from the last time I celebrated a big birthday, which was when I turned 50. And so in that 15 years, the ensuing 15 years, I've actually gone through the entire process of getting sick, cracking the code for myself, building myself back, and then asking the question, how good can I be? And continuing to chip away at that so that at this point in time, I feel like I've actually, instead of going 15 years older in age, I've gone 15 years younger in age from that point. That's part of the symmetry of celebrating 35 this year. Next year, perhaps I'll be celebrating 34, but I'd love for you guys to wrap your heads around this mindset of, hey, birthdays are chronological, but aging is dissociated from that. So if you can carry that forward, I'm wishing all of you a great birthday this year. Uh, I'll be really curious to see what age it is you're celebrating. And um, if you wanna reach out and say happy birthday to a 35 year old guy, he'd be love to hear from you. All right, have a great day.